Profanity Nation. Yeah, it's the new era of man for some old school fans with a new school brand. We got money on the mic with the plan in hand. And Stan Pat to his left, they go hand in hand. And to the right, we got Simster, he putting it down. It's the Profanity Nation, we running the town. Yeah, it's the Profanity Nation. Profanity Nation. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the Profanity Nation podcast, where we are the voice of the professional fan. I'm always joined by my co-host, so let's go ahead and introduce them right now. My boy, Money Mike. How you doing? Man, you know, I'm good. I'm good. Um, there was a milestone this week. And I'm not impressed. We'll get to that. Of course, you're not <laughs> impressed. It's a longevity milestone. Uh, Step hat. Good, man. Looking good. Clean yeah. cut. Chilly, man. Yeah, yeah, man. It was about that time. It's about that time. <laughs> yeah. I had Looking to do it. Looking clean cut. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Man, I, you still have hair, dog. I, you know. <laughs> but it's gray. Yeah. It's great. So, yeah, I mean, you got to take the good with the bad. You got to take the good with the bad. Um, don't look now, guys, but you know what? I know the Lakers kind of up and down, but they're kind of streaking. They're 7-3 and three in their last 10. Uh, they're securely. They're playing good ball. They're playing good ball. Actually. They've been playing some decent ball, some inspired basketball, shall we say, for some reason. Thinking. Um, of course, Money Mike, you alluded to a milestone. Uh, Steph Pat, you're our statistician. Go ahead and fill us in. Um, I mean, just LeBron James made forty thousand, um, forty k, uh, forty thousand points, and 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 for everybody to try to understand what that is, is basically if you score thirty, if you score thirty points a game for twenty years and play an average of sixty seven games a year, you would actually get the record. But that means you have to average thirty points a year every year. It's almost unattainable. You know, when you think, I mean, yes, is, but of course that's what they said about true. But <laughs> see, the thing, but see, the thing about like the thing about that because somebody had that argument, and I was thinking like, well, who has came into the league since LeBron that put, that flipped the league upside down? That literally we know who is a victor. But Victor Wembanyama is is not no, a scorer. No, he's, he's the young. only thing close to the kind of like the phenomenon thing because nah, he's nah, a nah, great nah. I don't know. prospect. I don't, I don't understand that. That's a little too quick. I mean, everyone I, said that I mean, about Zion his first year. Everyone well, I mean, about this guy's first year. This this, no, 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 Zion over Wemby? I think no, no, no. His first year when Zion yeah. he was the next big thing. Jaw was the next big. I thing. I just think the dude was Wemby's like the next big thing. I understand. He, he I w- I'll agree with you here that he is the next. Uh, athletic freak, like right. more than the Greek freak. He is more athletically freaky as far as his size, his length, and his ability and right. what he can do. No it's, doubt. So, so it's like saying like a person I'm gonna say coming in there like LeBron James, which at the time was the unicorn, right? You look at Wemby and you see unicorn. It's like literally he is that. He plays all NBA defense and he has all NBA games. So it's. This is not what we see, and it's consistent. It's like he he can't help but be all defensive. Of you well, know, he, he can't help him. it. It's he's seven four. He can reach, yeah. and, 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 and you and you get in the way, yeah. he block your shot. Like it's <laughs> like he's not really trying. Yeah. You blo- you're it's in, easy for you him. Really is easy for him. Wimby is a much better Manu Bowl. Oh my God! By <laughs> leaps you know, and bounds. Well, so you're only comparing size and body. Leaps well, and bounds. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But the agility. Ball, you, he you, got step back you jumper. Knew he was gonna block everything. He so literally he has step better. back jumper. Yeah. He is seven yeah. four with step back jumper. Like that's the mechanics of that whole move, and, and smooth with it. Like you know what I'm saying? Like he has a three point shot. He can post you up. He yeah, and how he's, he's what nineteen? Dude, nineteen. So I, twenty years. I have a what? question for you. I'd like to, to But he's not at thirty I'd, points a game yet. I'd like you guys ball. to ponder this for me. Uh, uh, this is about Wemby, okay? Hypothetically. If he grew up in the States, is he as good as he is right now? I think he might be better. Okay. Why? Because in the States is way more physical. So I think he, he would have the physicality game along with everything else. So I think he would he would have been there. Thoughts. If he okay, I believe that would be the case if he was in a bubble. And here my point. He jumped on the scene and all of a sudden he was seven four and with nothing we could do about it. It was over. Before we ever understood who he was, it was over already. 
he's already got the tutelage. He already got the foundation. He is working on his game without the scrutiny of him being a 7-4 unicorn in America? You think he's just going to just jump on the scene and we're not going to see him? He's a, seven, a 7, 10, 12-year-old? We ain't going to pay attention to this dude? Oh, we 100% You feel attention. me? And the, and the media scrutiny and all that just raining on him to the point he got to go to a uh, – uh, got to be a one and done or yeah, he has to go has to no Duke. Choice, yeah. And he has to win a championship. Yeah, exactly. And he has to be the first <laughs> – pl- like, you. you see what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, it's not the same. Because he's able to do that undercover, and before you know it, boom, he was on. Our, he was already on us. There was nothing we could do about it. We have to adjust. But we've already going to be practicing for Wemby because he's going to be the phenomenon that we're going to say we're just going to be. Yeah, but you can't. But that's the thing about Wemby. You can't really practice for him, like you know, because you've never seen anything like that. nothing. Yeah, you're just your dad. You know, but I'm just saying, so your dad on the flip side, room, right? can he handle the pressure of being that? You know what I'm saying? Because like LeBron well, James had to be, like, on the cover of Sports Illustrated and live up to being the chosen you know, you, one. You know what? You know what? Look, they asked, and, I, and actually, you know, I, I was watching a LeBron interview, and they asked LeBron what we, he had told, what advice would he give his 18-year-old self. And I love his answer because he was talking about how focused he was at 18, and he understood what the – mission was and the maturity that came along with it and he knew to be around the right people and they really kind of guided him to doing what he did and that's one thing I appreciate about LeBron is that the the circle that he had he 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 had a you're gonna be this to me you're gonna be this to me you're gonna be this to me and he knew it was all in contingent on what he was able to so foundationally, he had a, a really, really good structure in, you know, building up what everything is. And he actually, you know, definitely uh, became that, you know, in all except from from a, a player perspective as well as a business perspective. So, hey, big ups, LeBron. Kudos to you for, you know, having a good foundation. So you know, though, that LeBron James has lived up to the hype. You do understand this, right? Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, I, do, I, do, I, I, do, that. I don't want because the the expectation was him to be in the conversation, right? That's that's the expectation of LeBron James. What do the, you mean? To be in the conversation of greatest of all time. Yes, the king. He was labeled the king before, so he had. You to, see what I'm he, saying? That's what he had to. He's, Le, to. he's LeBron James. He's LBJ. He could have easily been the president. Easy moniker would have been cool. The president, whatever, like who could have been? Everybody could have pulled it off. He's LBJ. You know what I'm saying? It would have been easy. I mean, look, but he chose uh, the king. And if you're the king, you got to live up to that every night. You got to yeah, be the I mean, best listen, of everybody. Me I mean, personally, you guys know that, you know, I'll have, I'll have a real conversation about LeBron. I don't like some of the methods that, that he took. And I think uh, really, honestly, what I feel like if I break down LeBron's uh, career, um, the his first stint in Cleveland, I felt like he just – just kind of gave up. I ain't gonna be able to do this. I want to win a championship, and let me go ahead and create a situation where I can. Right. And that's what I did not appreciate about him. In all honesty, he didn't respect the grind. Yeah, right. Because you know, we we saw Michael Jordan be on the Bulls, score a whole lot of points, be great, and and not getting anything of it. And then they finally built a team around him and do it. We saw Steph Curry. Same thing, come in the league a couple of years, then they go to Clay Thompson, then they got, then they they build around it. So, uh, Cleveland looked like he just got frustrated with the the whole process, and he kind of wanted to, to speed that up because I feel like he didn't want to be uh, Charles Barkley, for example, uh, a Carl Malone. Uh, <laughs> oh, look, 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 I'm trying. I'm trying to be. Let, let, me, let, me, let me just. Let me just hold. Go a, ahead. Let me hold a, a mirror to you, Mister. No, Laker you let, go ahead. Okay. I, I still. Your, I still. Your 17 championships are built on the best free agents leaving where they started and coming <laughs> to the Lakers to get their titles. You have no problem with them when they do that, but you're now <laughs> saying that he should have stayed there. I'm saying. 
that. Am I wrong? He no. Not, <laughs> no. Well, listen, listen. I'm saying that he should have not spearheaded it. Every trade that was made by the Lakers was made by Lakers GM. Okay, so you staff. just don't like that he flexed. Right. So I would say power. this. Okay, look, go. I mean, look, let's I would say, say this. Look, look. I could kind of see what you're saying, and and to me, <laughs> let's be honest. Okay. Let's be real. I mean, we're talking about LeBron and him being held to this standard where he had to sit there and, and respect the grind, right? Until like you're Damian Lillard, he's like, I mean, this grind sucks. Yeah, exactly. I need to go ahead and really, I did. I give you a, a decade. If you can't do for me for a decade, I gotta be able. I mean, I gave you a decade. What you mad at me because I'm gonna leave after a decade? I mean, mm -hmm. I, we should be like kept the, the players some slack after a decade if we ain't won no championship, bro. You know, do your thing, bro. Just you gotta go. But but here's the thing: it's the way he did though. This is the thing though. L this is what I'm saying. LeBron James was too good of a player at that time to not have the pieces around him to win a championship. He was a, he was just so much better than everybody and he was on par with Kobe, right? Let's be real. He's on him he's a force just like Kobe was a force. We can't deny that. Okay? We can say who's that better and all that stuff. Every year but he was like he LeBron really James did. is going to dictate what the defense does every night at that time when he was with Cleveland. You don't you don't get him a point guard? You don't get him a center? You don't get a shooting guard. No, you, really you, don't, know. Know. you don't do any of this. Man, you don't do this, and, and you don't know what. I mean, look man, at what happened he when he had, left. Dude, the, you the know ownership. His, What's the owner's name? I forget. Delonte West, bro. What was the owner's <laughs> name? What are we What's talking about? Oh, Cleveland. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, not McCord. Um, no, that's Dodgers. Uh, okay, we all know. He doesn't seem like the most stable guy to talk to. Anyway, so you're talking about LeBron. You're talking. He left. Where he. Uh, you know, but again, if he came That's to the Lakers saying, at that point in his career and then stayed a Laker from then on, you would have had no problem with LeBron James. Any other team would have been mm -hmm. able to build a contender I, I, around I didn't need LeBron. No, but you would have had no problem. No, I mean, we, we, had, we had Kobe. We mm -hmm. were good. I'm going to just – I don't need You LeBron. know there was a rumor that Jerry West at one time when we had Shaq and Kobe was trying to get Trace McGrady too. Mm -hmm. yeah. You heard about that, right? Enough. Yeah. You heard about that too. Do you know how overpowered the Lakers would be with Tracy McGrady? Yeah. It's overpowered. It's it's too much. It's you can't really beat that team. It's nothing there's no scenario in any era that's gonna be Tracy McGrady, Kobe Bryant, and and, and Shaq and Shaquille O'Neal. It's not gonna be any scenario. Yeah. You, it okay. doesn't matter. But you, you know what's so crazy about that though, you know, that you bring could we, we we bring out shoulda woulda coulda trades. Yes. You know, can you imagine uh uh, the pettiest. I don't know if you guys heard the story about about CP3 and Dwayne Wade. No, was supposed to be going to Miami. No. Did y'all did y'all hear about this? What? Like now they were supposed. In addition to, to so all them. No, to yeah. Go. So CP3 was supposed to when LeBron was over there the too. The banana boat. They CP3 was coming over there too, and there was a full blown discussion about how the trade was going to work, how they were, you know, they had a 45-minute conversation about, you know, how they was going to have to scale back their game to make sure everybody got the touches on the balls. And they they had a full-blown discussion on how uh, how it was going to work with both of them on the team. Do you know the pettiest, the most pettiest reason why that trade never happened? No. Why? There was one question that was asked. Oh, who's going to wear number three? Who's going to wear number three? That was the that was the question that was asked. Hey, who's gonna wear number three? And and and, and they were like, and and CP three was like, well, well, you know, I'm three, man. Wade's gonna change the numbers. Wade was like, I'm three. Okay, so you are changing my. So, and they they could not agree. So it's stupid. They could not agree. That's ridiculous. That, so for that, CP three deserves to go without a ring. They, they, for that, they they could not for agree. That. <laughs> exactly. So I could have been uh, that. Out of, that's out of true. everything, if that's you, true. They, you know, that listen, is true. Where do no, you hear that from? Not only, you know what? That's it's funny that you ask because you said if that's true, you know how true it is. I was watching the conversation that CP3 and Dwayne Wade was talking about that situation. Uh -huh. So the, well, the story I'm telling you is is the story that they were. It's like me and and yeah. you guys talking. About it, like, hey, Pat, so yeah, man, we and gonna you do know this. this is what we happened, gonna do right? this, you know what I mean? <laughs> and it was like, yeah, then this my boy over there said, well, who gonna win number three? We was like, oh yeah, well, you wanna change your numbers? He said, no, I'm not changing my number. 
And then that's what that's the reason why yeah, CP3 didn't go down. is stupid. CP first of all, <laughs> first of all, bro, it could have been CP3. Let, like, let's let's like, you, you, basically you just say who won the championship with the number. I won a championship with the. No, number. this is my home. You're this coming my, to my you're home. You're coming to my house, dude. Yeah. Stop playing games yeah. here. Yeah. What are you thinking? You're doing. Yeah. You're you're talking about a slogan. Matter of right fact, now. you're gonna be 33. You're talking about a. He's at I am C P three. Why are you bullshit? You're gonna be 33. Yeah. No, yeah. Hey, yeah. He, I'm number three. You're, you're, and, you're, and, you're, and that's the right. reason why that that trade did not happen. You that know is. what? And like and like and like Sam said, dude, that is a good reason for him to go ringless <laughs> because that's so petty and so it's so ridiculous that the fact that you cut your nose off to spite your face like you seriously like <laughs> you, you, it's like what are you doing here I love it. I love it. all right guys let's let's keep this I, I this to get hilarious. let's keep this boat rolling we're gonna we're gonna talk some nba here all right guys um we talked about the lakers that they're kind of streaking right now uh the teams that are kind of flailing the clippers having some troubles five and five in the last ten uh, they're not doing great. Sacramento and Dallas, five and five in the last ten. So, Lakers moving. There up. is a ch- like a chance. So they're sputtering. Yeah. They're sputtering there. But of course, at the top, you've got Minnesota, Oklahoma, and Denver. They're all seven and three. Denver's on a six-game win streak, so they're just they're just Denver had the, full stride. Yeah, they, right there. D- yeah. Denver had the div- different. Well, Kind of, kind of focus. Aren't they um, only a point or half a game out in the first place? Or something like that? They're a half a game out of first. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. See in I'm saying? third, but a half a game See out. See what I'm saying? Yes. See what's, you're saying they're on a six-game winning streak. And they already had a national test on televised game against the Lakers, whoop on the Lakers. Not just whoop them. They didn't whoop on the Lakers. What they did was basically a master class in Who's we your are daddy? championship pedigree. You are trying to beat us, and championship teams win in the fourth quarter and leave no doubt. Like, every time we made a mistake, they made us pay for it. Mic drop. That's a championship team. Championship, you say, no, 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 why you leave him open? Bam, and he hits the three-pointer. You knew he was going to hit the three-pointer because they're champions. You know what I'm saying? And so <laughs> the, the Lakers are having to deal with that. Now, hopefully they can push that behind them. And it's just beat the teams that you can beat, that you can match up with, like win those games, win the games at home, mm-hmm. because they're they can't they're better than a record. We know they're better. Than, they're they're six seed at worst if they really took it seriously to the jump. Don't know why they didn't do that, but you know what I'm saying. They should be at least six seed. Um, but I think they have an opportunity to get there because teams are were peaking too too early, you know and. And, I mean, I think it's up for us and Golden State might make a run to get up into that six or seven. Yeah, I don't think Golden State's going to make it. Someone's going to drop. I, I, You know, Phoenix is also five and five yeah. in their last ten. Uh, you know, someone, it's Phoenix, Lakers, or Golden State. One of those teams is not going to make it. It's just not going to happen. Um, just imagine. It's one of those teams <laughs> is not going to make the playoffs. That's scary. Okay, can I ask you guys a question? Does Darvin Ham keep his team, keep his job even if the Lakers make it to the play-in game? Yeah, just not. Should he keep it or will he keep it? I guess. <laughs> That's right. see that question right there. Okay, I mean, there, he, will he so keep it? He, then? He, yes, he, yes, but should, should he keep no. it? That's the question if, we talk so about. If, should if he keep it? There's talk on the street because will right he keep now, it? Ugh. If there's talk on the street right now, right now that Ty Lue is possibly getting heat in his role. As with the Clippers, and he actually figured out the riddle of Harden, and sure they're having some hard times, some questionable decisions, no question. But if he's on the hot seat, how can you not say Darvin Ham is on the hot seat? Especially with a healthy AD, because that's the only thing that was holding this team back for the past supposedly. three years, supposedly AD's health. And now that AD is healthy, only missed two games in his whole, his whole season right now, Where's the blame lie? Because it used to be the crutch was his health. If he was, was only, health of if team. he was only a, you know, only available against Phoenix, if he didn't get hurt against Phoenix, we were gonna go back to back. That's that thing we hold on. But then since then he's been somewhat healthy, and now he's healthy this year, and we're still in no ninth, way. tenth seed. Mm-hmm. Something else, man. You gotta push that about. Mm-hmm. It's not about AD's health. Mm-hmm. It's something else going on, and mm-hmm. the Lakers have to fix it. Yep, half game out of tenth, guys. Um, Money, Mike. You, you, you know, and I hate, I really like hate to be, but you know, we we got to do it. We we, <laughs> we got to do it. I mean, oh, okay. you got to do it. <laughs> I do. 
Let me, you know what? You know, I'm in a different mood today. Okay. Can I say this? LeBron James' legacy with the Lakers is at stake. If we if we do not make the playoffs and make a run, and we should be able to make it to the finals. I'm not even saying that we should win. But I believe LeBron legacy All as night, a I'm Laker like, this guy, you get this guy. is at stake. I'm, t- I'm, I'm trying to say For you? Well, I'm talking about I mean, I don't LeBron. Think, I think his legacy, or, legacy as a Laker is already cemented as far as you're concerned. Yeah, well, but, well, to me, right. But I, I want to make sure that, that There's we, nothing he can do. But I want I want to make sure. <laughs> no, but I want to make sure that we have a real, like, conversation about, like, what he's done for the Lakers in, in his universe. You know, I'm, you know, like, I'm trying to change the conversation. That will right? happen you once know. once he retires. And the marketing machine stops. Then you're left with the numbers, and the yeah. numbers don't lie. Then they're going to yeah. compare as a as a Cleveland Cavalier, as a Miami Heat, as a Laker. They're going to compare those, and yeah. the numbers won't lie. But see, like, but the unfortunate part about it is because because a lot of the the biggest milestone, even though they were accumulated other places, mm-hmm. they happened when he was in a Laker uniform. So uh, uh, I wonder if that's going to be tainted because. You know, I wonder if, 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 if look, I'm just asking a question because if he does not have the titles to add to those those great milestones, to mm-hmm. like what was Kareem stat pad like with 30 years, 35 years, 38 years? For, so, what, what? for I, I, I'm talking about for, for Bet- between his between him, like the breaking the, of the, the breaking of break, break, yeah, it, was right? about, like, it was with 30. I know, I know he retired in '89, so uh, so. We, okay, eighty nine. Well, yeah. So that's thirty five years. Yeah. So it's a basically a thirty five year record that LeBron broke in 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 a Laker uniform. Um, so if we go on that, how many of those points did he get in the Lakers uniform? Um, probably like maybe I would what percentage? say ten thousand a quarter. I would say. Hmm. Let me check that out. You know, no, he didn't have thirty. No, let me see. He passed Kobe. He got thirty thousand. No, he's done at least ten thousand because he passed Kobe in Laker uniform, uh, and, and Kobe had thirty two mm-hmm. eight something. But they no, Kobe had thirty three thousand. So a it. quarter of this man's points. So we know a probably Laker about uniform? about ten thousand points. I'm just saying, dude. Probably about ten thousand. Do, do you hear how it sounds out I, loud? Uh, I, a quarter of this man's I, career I points <laughs> came with one franchise. I hear this. I hear it. And he won a championship with that franchise. Just one. Ten thousand points in one tra- franchise, ten thousand points in one franchise. Is that? Wait a minute. Is that? Is that? Is that enough it, for him to get that, a statue? No. Thank you. No. Because Let's Mag- not get Magic, crazy. Magic has more points than him. We're not getting crazy. We're not getting crazy on Magic about the has more assists than him. Is it enough to put his ne- number on the on the wall? Yeah. Uh, he didn't. He didn't give us a championship. He well. He didn't give us the 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 one without COVID. every. Okay. Let me ask you this question. He didn't give us a parade to me. Serious question. Serious question. Every statue that is out in front of crypto slash staple center. So we got eight nine thousand with the leg. Okay. So every statue that's outside of of Glibber, what is the minimum amount of rings on every statue that's in front of crypto? Zero. Zero. Yep. Zero. Yep. Oh, because yep. Of Elgin. Yep. Well, he got one. He was on the team half the time. Okay, one. He got one. so one. I guess the criteria is okay. One. So one is one. So, so LeBron, LeBron got that criteria. It's a bubble. Okay. That's that's all right. So so okay. <laughs> yeah. So 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 we really Would you are, rather we lost. We that really title gonna be. We really gonna be at, at 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 the Boston Celtics <laughs> to get eighteen because they will pass us in championships. But then when we examine the championship, we're gonna oh it was a bubble. We can't have it both ways. Is it either it's legit or no, we don't listen, count it? We have to count it. Um, then it's legit. We, we listen. There, there was a the conversation that was saying, like, for what LeBron has given us um, as a whole in the last seven years, uh, I saw it on Instagram, and it was a very hard question. And the question was, for what he's given us, is that one championship that he has given us has been worth it for what we've been going through with LeBron? Is is that one? Yeah, support? because where were we before you got here? Well, and 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 what exactly have you seen from the Lakers front office that makes you believe they would have done better without him? 
I mean, I haven't seen anything because there was so much there was so much turnover uh, uh, back there. Back then. But it's just interesting. But since LeBron came there, what have you seen it's that, you, that, that makes you believe they could have constructed a team without him that, that could have contended for a championship? You know, I, I you know what because only reason why don't, 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 don't answer for that don't, one. Well, the only reason why is because you know if you don't get LeBron, we don't get A D. Right. True. So so that's the only thing. Like A D became the part of the package deal. Right. Which is really what we absolutely need. We needed more A D than Yeah. But 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 right. But. Anyway. I don't want to talk about it no more. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know, because he's not gonna get he's but he's not gonna get a he's, I do, I still do not believe that his record as a Laker warrants him to get a a, a, a statue out there. Like, a, is I don't care how many points he makes, you can't not contend for ch- like least at least Jerry West was getting his beat his butt beat in championships. He was in there getting whooped on against the Celtics in championships. He doesn't like that. What I'm saying is, is he, like he holds LeBron's record in the play in the finals against yeah, him. But but what I'm saying is, at least we well, know Jay West that got there though. That's so what did LeBron? No, we listen in we his career, as a Laker. You, we did not know, but, did not, but you hold. Wait, wait. How the, many times did with LeBron have we not made the playoffs? No, no, no. I how mean, many times we, has we, LeBron made the finals? Uh, uh man, LeBron made the finals what? Twelve what? times, right? Ten or eleven times. Yeah. Okay, and 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 how many times has he won? Well, he's ten times. He's, he's four and six. Okay, he's four and six. Yeah. Okay, you're saying it's okay. Yo, well, Jerry West made it there. You actually hold LeBron's finals record against him. I am, but do. but Jerry West, you're like it's great. He got there. Well, because you know why? I I'm 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 probably going to answer for Mike. I'm just, I'm going to answer for Mike. So I know how that argument would be like. Okay, so. He's holding it, but nobody's saying Jerry West is the goat. That's number one. We right. could have saw here. No one's saying Jerry West is the best of all time. Matter of fact, Jerry West was getting passed up when Magic Johnson got on him. See what I'm saying? Magic Jerry West been in the rearview mirror, and then Kobe had to put both of them in the rearview mirror and Kareem. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like it's Shaq would put them in the rearview mirror. What I'm saying is Jerry West have not been this relevant for a long time. So his finals record is like literally you look at it like damn Jerry for real you couldn't win two. That's what we do now with Jerry. We don't say, Jerry, man, good job. You had that one. We're he like, he just no, did. I'm not. He just did. Yeah, but we. He, Jerry Hell well should have had at least two. He, he had how many times? he Dude, there's pictures of there's pictures of Bill Russell. You know what makes you mad about Jerry? Bill West, Russell though? winning on our floor. Yes. But you in know, what, game seven in Los Angeles, Boston Celtics beat the Lakers in a game seven in at the forum. Yeah, but you know what also that is ma- inexcusable. But you know what also makes you mad though. If they lost, like we lost swept, New York each too. Year you'd say they were just outmatched. But going to a game seven, that in means house, they were competing. And we lost in New York you, too. Because yes, now, now you think like, okay, <laughs> and like, okay, right. we can't beat the Celtics. And then here comes this dude limping out. <laughs> so you create legends. <laughs> yeah. We're creating legends. And all of a sudden, the next year, you're like, okay, here this dude limp out. Right. And then win the championship because he's like, D- come on, yeah. bro. So, Jerry so it's almost like, like okay, okay, <laughs> let me burn, uh, it's, it's okay, <laughs> something's on here. Cool, we can win now, and then we lose to New York. Like, this is our opportunity. <laughs> like, we missed opportunity. <laughs> you know, you know right. what I mean? But it wasn't the stuff. He lucky he got to get back the next year, though. you still consider him. Of course, he was with the well, Lakers forever. Well, I consider so Jay yeah. West definitely a, uh, uh, a, Laker, uh, yes. a real Laker. I, yes. I, True I blue not, Laker. True blue. I don't. I and mean, I don't see ever LeBron is not going when he was done when he gets retired. He can retire as a as a Cleveland Cavalier, and he should, and as a Heat, and as a Laker, it's going to be just like Shaq. No, you no, look no, at, you look at Shaq, like, but what about the Hall? You, you look the, at what, Shaq. the Hall. He's going to go as as a Miami Heat. Oh no, he should go as Cleveland. Yeah. No, if yeah. he's if he's Cleveland, yeah. if he's yeah. all about Cleveland, and he's, he's like, I've just had to do what I had to do. I had to Hall. put me first. You know, so I, had like, go, you know, I had to go learn I how mean, to look, win. Look, I had to go look, learn how to win. Kareem, I had to go learn how to win. Kareem Number is retired go, go, in Milwaukee, but you know yeah. he's a Laker. Yeah, like, he's you know a Laker. But he's in the Hall as what? As the a Laker. Laker. That's it. You know, that's what I'm saying. So you know. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Really quick, we're getting close to the end here, but let me ask you this: 
Would you want LeBron to go into the hall as a Laker? He didn't do as a Laker. I, he I, has not performed. Would you want him he, to choose the Lakers to be the jersey that he he can choose whatever he wants? Would you want him? I to would choose be the Lakers. I would be offended if he chose to, to be a Laker, go in the hall as a Laker because he did not give the Lakers. Uh, he he only gave him one championship. I would and he gave losing seasons. I want to say that's too, too harsh, but I don't think it is. He gave, I think I think I would be offended too. I swear to God, I would. So you think he's hitching? His, I think he. Sh- why hitching. would you do that? You know your best years were with us. You know what we know you for. We know you for your crazy that year. You were 2013, 2014, where you literally Chase had every blocks. you had every accolade except defensive player of the year, and you came in second for that award. You were like had the best one of the best seasons in the history of the game. You are a Miami Heat or a Cleveland Cavalier because you beat the eight, the set what the seventy three and nine Warriors. Like you, you did things in these two, historic. you know, that were historic. Not, Don't. not just, not just historic on the terms of longevity, meaning oh, scoring records and things like that. Historic on accomplishment. Yes, literally in the present time. Yes, and so why would you come and go into the Laker just because that would be clout? Yeah. And you don't need clout, bro. No. I need to be a part. Of, I'm a Laker. I'm a he Hall of Fame the Laker. Only Cav going no, he's he's not Cavaliers the only Cav, just to go ahead and just be that dude. Just be Cav. Be All a right. Cavalier. Going as Cav. As All a right, team. going as a Cav. Going as a Cav. Okay, as you know. Because you guys watch and listen all the time. All the we time. finish the show with a segment we call Money Mike's Out of Bounds. Money Mike's going to share his thoughts or opinions on a topic. And it's simple. He wants to know if, yeah, he wants to know if those thoughts are inbounds or out of bounds. Money Mike? So, look, man, this, 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 is out, this is way different, you know, uh, because, you know, I was just sitting around thinking about, like, my life and having life <laughs> situations. Okay. So, let me, let me just tell you all, man. So, this weekend... I went to this barbecue spot over in, 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 in I, I'm not going to name it, but yeah, I went to this barbecue spot. My daughter wanted to go there. And, and you know, everybody's ordering food and all that type of stuff. And it got to me, right? And I wanted a two-meat combo, yeah. right? And on the menu, it said the two-meat combo was $23.99. Two-meat combo, that's what I want to get. Okay. Two meats and the side. Dickies? No, it was not. All right, cool. I uh, ordered that, and then when I ordered it, I wanted brisket and ribs. She said, "We don't have we don't we don't we don't have spare ribs. We only have baby back." I said baby back ribs are fine, no problem. And then I'm looking on the register, and I see dollar, dollar, right, dollar for brisket, and dollar for ribs. <laughs> <laughs> now I asked the lady a question. I said, "Wait a minute, I ordered a two meat combo, and it's twenty three ninety nine." Right, and she says, "Well, yeah, but it's extra for." I said, "Wait a minute." So I want two <laughs> meats, right? So my question was, "What two meats do you get for twenty? Because they said, "Oh, it says it says start that." I said, "Okay, cool, I got you." What two meats? What two meats are twenty three ninety nine? This lady goes, "Help!" She's asking the 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 the, the you, you the, challenged the, her. the dude like. For help, I'm like, I don't understand why this is a this. We paying people twenty dollars an hour for y- y'all. So the guy tells me, I ask him. He says, "So oh, it starts at twenty three nine nine." I said, "That's not the question." Yeah, dude. What we is understand that twenty three nine nine. Thank you. <laughs> right, <laughs> and they tell me that it's for the pork and the chicken. I said, okay, cool. Y'all just baiting the switch. I got you. Yeah, like, you like, know, you know what I'm saying. I want you to y'all know that switch. I know the game. I'm letting y'all know y'all baiting the switch. Now, is this switch. a chain right. restaurant or a bit? Or a, uh, a they, they, and it's a couple. It's a couple of restaurants. So here's the thing. I Yelp reviewed them, right? Nice. And I explained the bait and switch. And in that Yelp review, my main issue was, you know what? Ribs and brisket is a dollar more. Is that okay? That wasn't never asked. They, they, she just punched the button. Yeah. And that's what really you know. offended me. So I yelped him, right? And I got a response from the owner. But let, let me ask you this. Yeah. Am I out of bounds for yelping to warn people about the bait and switch for the upcharge of the brisket and the ribs at this barbecue restaurant? Am I out of bounds for doing that? Hell for yelping no. them? Hell no. No, no you okay. get bounds with two feet. Yeah. No, you're inbound. There's no way 
you could go ahead and just and she did it deep deep. Yeah. Now I what, mean, the funny thing about your whole story is literally she's there saying that I'm a punch in an extra two dollars for two different meats that are not the meats I don't even know what's on the I don't even know. She doesn't even know what meat is twenty three ninety nine. That's the thing about it. Like first of all, the baseline. Okay, we understand two meats. <laughs> baseline. Exactly. We understand two meats is twenty three ninety nine. We get that. Which two? Which two? You should know that from the jump. And then you go from there from your learning. Right from there, you should be like, okay, okay, a dollar more for brisket and you know, baby back or whatever. No, you ain't. You don't even know what the baseline is. <laughs> so yes, from from just from that, just from that right there, yeah, of course, you in bounds because that's ridiculous. Yeah, you're completely in bounds. All right, cool, cool. That, I'm unfortunately, sure. that's the world these days, and I'm talking about both ends. A the de the deceptive marketing. Yes. And B the absolute clueless workers that feel like they deserve more. Um, again, look. It, I won't get into it. Okay, you're right. I'm not going to get into <laughs> economics. I'm not going to get into economics because that is just, it's just. Well, so it, it is. Look, I'll get into it. it y'all want $20 an hour. Uh, and y'all want $20 an hour, y'all should be able to count and answer simple questions. You know what I mean? Like, this is, that. that's just my thing. Y'all asking for Because let me explain this to y'all. Like, I'm going to just tell y'all the world that I live in. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know it's it's political season. We're functioning and all this stuff. humans living. You know, I, but but I want you guys to understand though. When y'all used to make ten dollars an hour, and now y'all make twenty dollars an hour. That's a fifty percent raise. But you know who ain't getting a fifty percent raise? Me, right? <laughs> I ain't getting a fifty percent raise. Our union is probably gonna get three four percent, and that's gonna be it. And y'all understand that your fifty percent raise is raising the cost of living above the percentage that I'm getting because your job was not supposed to be a career job. Mine is. And yep. that's the problem with that. And I'm going to get off my high horse. I, I'm just, I'm just, my question, you hit the nail on that, is is minimum wage workers, they raise the minimum wage. Can you get anything more with that? No. You get exactly the same. You get so, less. So exactly, or less, or less. You, you, you're you, you, getting less. You, you, you but you know who's the killing same it? burger for more money and you're getting paid a little more, but everything and every single uh, establishment is saying, Oh, we're going to have to raise our prices, raise our price. Man, it's already, you spend 20 something dollars at a McDonald's. Yep. I don't go, but you could Man, easily. Whoppers, like, hey, guess what? You know, when, when, when I was 18, 19, Whoppers 99 were 99 cents. cents. Yep. You know how much a Whopper is now? Like $4. Yep. Same Whopper. Yeah. Same Whopper. Same Whopper. It was 99 cent Whopper. Yeah, yeah. I'm just We're saying. definitely going to get the old fogey comments in this one, guys. Well, and listen, I'm right. just letting y'all know this is <laughs> what it is. For sure. well, two for two was really yeah, a two I, for two. I, I, yeah, exactly. Yeah, two for two. <laughs> now, it's like two, it's like two tape, for five. It's like two for five. We invented value packs and freaking shit. Like, get a, get a clue, people. Get a clue. All right. Well, thanks for hanging with us. Thanks for chilling with the Profanity Nation podcast. We will be back next week, as always, Wednesday mornings. You know it. Start your day with the Profanity Nation. Talk Lakers, talk sports. We got you covered. We'll see you there in FanityTV.com. Peace. Peace.